Hello viewers. Hi. Welcome to the wonderful university city of Durham. Described as the perfect little city by the travel writer Bill Bryson, this beautiful cathedral city is full of history. Durham Cathedral is one of the most recognisable landmarks in the UK. In 1986, along with Durham Castle, it became one of the first places in the UK to be listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The origins of the city of Durham can be traced back about a thousand years to the year 995 AD, when a group of monks buried the body of St Cuthbert here and founded a church. Built in 1093, this Norman cathedral, which contains the shrine of St Cuthbert, became a centre of pilgrimage in medieval England and was the most important religious site until the murder of Thomas Becket at Canterbury Cathedral in 1170. Durham Castle was constructed as Mott and Bailey Castle in 1072 under the orders of, yes, you've guessed it, William the Conqueror. William realised his kingdom could not be safely protected from Scottish invasion until the Kingdom of Northumbria was subject to his rule. However, he was also aware of the remoteness and independence of the area at the time and saw that it would not be easily controlled by a king in the distant south of England. William recognised that the Bishop of Durham had lots of respect and authority in Northumbria and therefore in 1075 he appointed the Bishop of Durham as Prince Bishop. The Prince Bishop could govern as a virtually autonomous ruler with the castle as his seat. The last Prince Bishop founded Durham University in 1832 and Durham Castle became the first college. It's still a college today as Durham is a collegiate university. There are 17 different colleges and around 19,000 students study here. We hope you enjoyed exploring Durham with us today. See you next time. Bye.